Hey everybody, quick video update from the Lemoyne Termoculture Micro Farm. Uh, we're here uh, up in the mushroom growing area. Uh, we were just looking out at the garden. Uh, there's crops growing out there. Uh, for anybody that's interested in checking that out, check out uh, the last video update from that was, I believe, the June uh, video update from the Lemoyne Terrace Garden. So that's part of the uh, micro farm here. Um, and uh, we're in the mushroom grow now uh, where we're going through a transition. Um, as I've officially sealed up the room and uh, we're working on uh, getting enough algae or algal biomass in this uh, in this area in this enclosed area to absorb uh, the amount of CO2 necessary and produce the amount of oxygen necessary for the mushrooms to produce the way that we need them to produce um, so you can see here this is a really good example this is a uh, Ganoderma lingi, I believe the Asian rishi uh, you can see it was starting to perform out of conch right here, and then it reverted back to its antler form, which kind of was like a weird morph for it. As you can see, it's just, it just looks very strange there. Um, but yeah, it morphed back into an antler form because of the CO2 um, and the, the CO2 levels in this room. And you can also see that our lion's manes are a little bit stressed out and not growing properly or uniformly. Uh, and that's also due to the fact that there's a high CO2 concentration in here. Um, which occurred after I after I closed out the the window, um, but uh, in the next five days, this thirty gallon culture of spirulina uh, will be dense and absorbing lots of the CO two, producing lots of oxygen. And we're also going to be getting this nanoporopsis into another uh, thirty gallon container. Um, so once this is full, full in a dense culture, um, I'm going to probably slide this one back into the corner or uh, we'll figure that out once we get there. But we're gonna have two over there and uh, they're gonna be attached with each other, uh, swishing the water back and forth instead of just using a pump uh, to move the water. We'll just have one culture mass and, and two 30 gallons. So it'll be 60 gallons of culture there. We'll have another spirulina tank here, have our nanochloropsis tank here. Um, we'll see if we can't get two more underneath this part here. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we're checking on the spirulina culture for the pH, making sure we maintain a pH above 10. Um, you can see over here the culture gets a little bit dense. We can take a little sample from there, take it into the lab, and put it under a microscope to make sure that the only thing growing in there is the spirulina. We don't want any bacteria or weed uh, algae. Uh, working on cultivating the cordyceps militaris, we just got this batch in here uh, a couple days ago. I was playing with a whole bunch of different things for the cordyceps militaris because I have some presentations to give on that at the Telluride Mushroom Festival next month. Uh, so, really quick video, I think my memory is going to run out. Um, as I said, this is William P.D. Brown, we're here at the Lemoyne Mushroom Micro Farms, or the Lemoyne Permaculture Micro Farms, where we grow uh, produce, mushrooms, and now we're growing algae, and we also have uh, compost production on the first floor of this building. Uh, so we're working on completing our whole systems, working on getting rainwater and a whole bunch of other systems set up here, uh, we're getting some animals in uh, over the next year. So it's been William P.D. Brown, and uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share it all around. And I uh, hope everybody can take the opportunity to start building resources in their community uh, because uh, there's a real need for decentralization of resources and education and a whole bunch of other things. We need to start taking care of our communities ourselves and producing the things that we need for ourselves and then educating our youth how to maintain these systems because what we've been working with isn't working and I'm tired of seeing everybody complaining about everything. It's time to go out and start doing something.